put in so far. And below the if statement, we're going to create a new variable called the vtxt, which is simply a string. And write an if statement. So if the length is equal to 1, we're going to set vtxt equals to space vote else vtxt equals space votes with an s. And then we'll be creating a new text field that we can add dynamically onto the stage. We're going to call this text field votes. It's the text field. which is a new text field. Set the x, y, and the width, and then add text to this text field. The text that we're adding is going to be how many votes were voted so far. which is actually the length of the sum, which is how many votes, plus the txt, which is either vote or votes. Now add the text field to the stage. And finally, call the make star function. Let's quickly go through what we did. We have the for loop, which adds each value to the sum array, calculates the average of that sum, creates a new text field, and then we call the make star function. Before we call the make star function, we're going to add a movie clip onto the stage, which holds all our stars. It's a new movie clip called All Stars, placed at x, y. And on this all star, we add three event listeners. We have a mouse over, a roll out, and a mouse down, each calling on over, on out, and on click. So now the star function that we called previously, we have the remove function, which you can see at the bottom. The remove function removes all the stars on the stage. Inside the make star function, we loop through for five times, which creates five stars, and sets each star as a yellow star or a blank star, and adds them to the stage. Our three event listeners are on over, on out, and on click. We have the on over function. It calls this remove function again to remove any stars placed, and it replaces stars, but except in green and wherever your mouse is rolled over at. And now the on out function calls the make star function again, which creates yellow stars. And we have one more function called the on click function. The on click function creates blue stars up to wherever the user clicked their mouse. Then it removes each event listener that was previously placed, not allowing them to create duplicate votes. What we need to do now is record the vote in which the user gave the page. So we're going to go back to the MySQL extension, and instead of the prefix rank, we're going to change the prefix to voted. And if we hit insert, go to the R actions panel, right below the on click function, we'll paste our code. And then go back into the onClick function. We're going to call the voted insert. And we're going to be sending our current star. The value of current star is actually the rank in which the user gave the page, either 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. 
So the function voted insert will have a value being called, which is vote, and we'll set that as a number. Our table is ranking system. The two fields that we have are page and vote. What we're inserting into pages the CUR URL, which is the current URL, and our vote. If you take a look at the voted insert function, it actually only returns back a completed if you actually were able to insert the new fields. So we won't need this test.txt, so go and delete it and leave this function blank. Before we actually publish this movie, we'll want to edit the published settings. I'm going to go to File, Publish Settings, and we'll want to do an import, which is right here on the arrow. Select an import. And we'll be selecting the Peak Studios PHP AS3. Go ahead and publish this movie. Now let's go ahead and upload this file to our FTP server. We're going to be uploading the SWF file. And I already uploaded mine once before. So as you can see, my PHP folder is here, which you'll need to also upload. I'm going to go over to my browser, refresh my page to the location of where I uploaded my files. There's one vote so far. If you roll your mouse over, the stars will change to wherever it's at. So if I click on one, like four, the stars changes to blue. And now you can't click anymore, but the vote was placed. So you refresh the page, you'll see there was two votes. If you click on it again, and then refresh the page, there's now three votes. You can use this ranking system for almost any page because it records the URL as an ID. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment or contact us at peakstudios.com.